This was a regular quad cycle. We put an electric motor on there. I can still pedal, but now I can also use throttle. Hey, what's up everybody? Abbas here from Golden Motor. So this was a regular quadricycle, roads bikes. Now it's owned by Par Bikes, but they make like four wheel bikes. Um, but we decided to put an electric motor on there. We'll put a Bafang mid-drive on there. I put a thousand watt motor on there, but you have an option to put 750 watts, 500 watts, 350 watts. But I made this for Bill and Bill uses this for groceries and he had this in his garage for a while. So now he can put his groceries and go uphill and just, you know, if he needs to throttle it up, you can throttle this bike too. So a lot of people think when you put an electric motor on your bike or quad bike that you're not going to get any more exercise. It's actually quite the contrary. So these things have pedal assist. So I, I'm pedaling right now and I'm getting a full exercise. But the b beauty is that this has pedal assist, which means that I can dictate how much I want to pedal and I, how much assist I want. So right now I have it on two. So the motor's barely kicking on. I'm pedaling, I'm doing most of the work. I can change the gearing to make it a little bit easier for me. But now if I go pedal assist five, I'm tired. So now the motor kicks on much more and I'm pedaling a lot less. So you can actually technically get more exercise. You can be more outdoors. And if you have a bike or a quad bike just sitting in the garage, you're intimidated, this is, this is a good way to go. So we've, we've converted two wheel bikes, three wheel bikes, a horse bike, and now this is our first quad bike. This was a little bit challenging because we had to do some custom wiring, a custom adapter for the bottom bracket. But as a DIY company, we have all these uh, modifications, all these custom things. We got hub motors, we got mid motors, we got BLDC motors. So if you are one of those people who have a bike or a motorcycle or a quad bike that's just sitting in the garage and you're intimidated because it's too much work, uh, electric motor and a battery will be a good option for you. So this is such an eco-friendly, sustainable model. You can actually commute on this bike and it has like a nice storage in the back. So I was like, man, if I have this storage in the back, I got to go grocery shopping on this. So I'm going to pull up to the grocery store right now. Oh, car is just coming out just for me. So the first step on any mid-drive conversion kit, whether it be a CYC or Bafang, you gotta take out your bottom bracket, your cranks and your pedals, and then you're ready for the conversion. Uh, if you need help taking out your particular bottom bracket on your bike or quad bike, I'm gonna put the link on the top so you can check that out. Next step is to install the motor into your bottom bracket. On this particular one, I'm putting in a Bafang BBS HD. Or for any mid-drive conversion kit, this is the next step. Uh, on a bike, usually you would tuck it in on this side, but on this one, it doesn't really matter because I'm not going to be doing too many jumps. So I'm going to put it in the front because I get better clearance on the front. Just tuck it in over there. So the next step is to secure the motor against the bottom bracket. So your kit comes with this mounting plate. And if you notice on this side, there's raised ridges. So this will go against the bottom bracket like so. And then you use the two bolts that come with the kit and you secure it to the motor. So after you have the mounting plate secured on the bottom bracket, to make it even more snug, the stock kit comes with an inner lock ring and an outer lock ring. So basically the concept is this goes on the thread, it pushes the bracket even more against the bottom bracket, and then you use the Bafang installation tool, this side right here, to tighten this all the way in. And then once this is tightened all the way in, then you install the outer lock ring on there. And that goes on top of it and then you use this side of the Bafang installation tool. But for most, most bikes and quad bikes, these two are just enough if you tighten it all the way. But I'm gonna be using a Lecky One Nut. It's a little bit superior product and you can tighten it to all the way to 50 to 60 Newton meters of torque. So I'm gonna be using this right now. Next step is to install the chain ring. So there's five holes on here, five holes on the motor. So make sure you just line up the holes and then there's five bolts, four millimeter bolts that are provided with the kit. Just line it up and tighten it in.
once the chain ring is on, time to put the chain on. Beautiful. All right, next step is to install the cranks. So it's labeled right on the right side, left on the left side. So it goes on like so, and then use the two crank arm bolts that come with it and tighten it in. And then do the same thing on the other side. Now let me show you the wires that are coming out of the controller. So this one, the eight pin one, is for the main wiring harness. This is for the battery. Uh, this one is for the speed sensor. This is for optional if you want lights on your bike. This is for the lights hookup. And then the last one is a three pin female. This is for a optional shift sensor. Basically the shift sensor will cut off your motor when you're shifting. But on this bike, I think I'm not gonna install a shift sensor because I'm not gonna be shifting that often. But that's where this one goes. Okay, now I'm gonna connect the main wiring harness. So you wanna line up the arrows and plug it in. Make sure the arrows are lined up, otherwise you can bend the pins. And out of the main wiring harness, there are four plugs coming out. So the green one, the five pin male is for the display. Uh, the three pin male is for the throttle. And you have an option to get a thumb throttle, a full twist or a half twist. And the last two are for uh, brakes. So your kit comes with brake levers and you can attach it over here. Or if you choose, if you want to keep your brake levers on your existing bike or quadricycle, you can just put magnetic uh, brake sensors on here and that can work also. So I rerouted the main wiring harness to the front and now I'm going to connect the throttle and the display. So make sure it's again, line up the arrows and it should snap in all the way. If you don't do that, it's not going to be wa waterproof. So you want to do that properly. And the display I'm going to be putting over here. Um, I'm using the 500C, but with the Bafang kits, you have an option to use five displays. And I'll put that video on top so you can check out which display works for you. Um, and I'm gonna put the display right here. And then just hook up the display right here. Okay, time now to put the pedals on. So make sure you put the left on the left and the right on the right. As you remember, we, we took these off on the first step and now we're just gonna put it back on the buffet cranks. Okay, time now to install the battery. So the battery will be going right here. So first you have to install the cradle, the battery cradle. So this is gonna go right here. Uh, usually if it's a bike, uh, if it's on a down tube, there's usually two uh, bolts that you put the water bottle on. But since this is a custom build, not to worry, we have a triple bob. So what this does is this bracket right here, you hose clamp it to any uh, down tube or any tube, and then you can hook up the, the cradle on top of over here. And the, it, this triple bob comes with the nuts and everything, the whole set's there, so you just put that on, and then the battery just slides on. So I'm gonna do that right now. Now that I have the triple bob installed with the hose clamps, time to put the battery cradle on. So you line it up to these three arrows and that would be perfect right there. And then you use the three bolts that come with the triple bob and you attach it. Alrighty, final step. We have the cradle on. Now time to slide the battery on. Boom, lock it in. It's not going anywhere, we're good to go. All right guys, this build is done. So I just gotta clean up the wires now, reroute them, cut off all the zip ties, make it look nice and clean. But this one is ready to go. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed this build. If you have any questions for Golden Motor regarding your mid drive installation or hub drive or even BLDCs if you're doing DIY, at Golden Motor we have all the DIY um, motors and batteries that you need. So feel free to contact our sales team to help you out. And let us in the comments below uh, what build we should do next. But until next build, I'll see you guys later.